the Afghan girls and women are bearing the biggest burden in this struggle to persuade people that girls and women have an equal right to education and to other amenities. Women and girls not going to school, not going to university, not able to teach at university, not doing public sector jobs, being banned from many subjects that are taught already. And of course, what it means is that they are denied opportunity. It does seem to be the misreading of Islamic uh, teaching uh, by a group of clerics based in Kandahar. And the way that we can uh, deal with this is for all our leaders in Muslim countries uh, to protest and to say Islamic law does not require this. We do educate our girls and, and women, and we're not going to work with an Afghanistan that fails uh, to provide equal opportunities uh, for girls and women in the future. You've already seen statements from the Saudi foreign ministry, from Qatar's foreign ministry, and they are intermediaries between uh, us and, uh, and, and, and uh, the Taliban and have done very well in doing that on many occasions, but they're saying end this ban, and so too a UAE. I think this is going to be solved by uh, people within the Muslim world uh, pressing the Afghans to persuade them that it is counterproductive in the long run to deny girls and women education. Uh, they're making their economy unworkable in future years if they can't train the engineers, the scientists, the doctors and the teachers.